We live in a world of bubble wrapping. Are you a bubble wrapper? You might be a bubble wrapper. If, if you send your children to school with a sweater because you, you're loving and caring, um, in Arizona, when it, it, it's a balmy 69 with the chance of rain, if you're sending your kid to school with a jacket and an umbrella, you're a bubble wrapper and you're destroying that child. Stop sending your children to school with jackets. Let them suffer. My, it's so funny to watch my son Jet. You know, he's a, he's a brand new human being. He's 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 eight. It's a good model, uh, like a car model. It's a, he's a, he's a, he's a high functioning uh, whippersnapper, and he doesn't want to wear a jacket. My wife's like, "You got to put your sweater on. Why?" Embrace the cold, my friends, in Arizona. It's not cold, but to where we live, it's cold. Embrace it. It's it's okay to suffer in this freezing 69-degree weather we have in Arizona. Yeah, I'm going to let my kid micro-suffer. We'll call it micro-suffrage. Uh, he's going to micro-suffer today, and uh, that's okay. And get... You know, and I didn't made a mistake. I fed my child a bagel before he went. Usually, I don't even send him to school with a full stomach. Did you did you send did you send Jet to school with um uh a full stomach? No, I did not. He went with an empty stomach, so he can be like half his school. It's okay to suffer. Our children are going to suffer. Sorry, Grandpa and Grandma. Um, your grandchildren are suffering because they're being raised by me. But don't worry. Their mother will will heal them with hugs and kisses. So will I. I'll embrace my children like that. That's not bubble wrapping. That's showing true love. I, I don't mind that. But the elements of the world, we got to experience the elements of the world says I, uh, I'm going to go take a cold plunge. And I, I want to be cold. I want my body to adapt. I want my brain to somehow become stronger. Sorry, we're going to have to interrupt this podcast for a message from me. Go to CoachCameron.com and learn everything you need to know about me and everything I do in soccer. You can find it on CoachCameron.com. You can also learn more about Anchor. Anchor Anchor.fm is where I broadcast from. It's a free app. You can do it anywhere in the world, and it's free. And you can make money off it as well. I'm making money right now on this advertisement I'm doing for Anchor. So download Anchor.fm today from your app store. So I'm not weak, and I'm constantly working on that. Now, mind you, this podcast is brought to you by Midlife Crisis. I am in my midlife crisis years. I'm just battling. It's okay. It's okay that I battle and struggle. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to struggle away. I'm going to battle and struggle away. How does this relate to Coach Cameron's soccer podcast? I don't know. Our U.S. national team is a bunch of bubble wrap pieces of, I don't know, something bad. They're, They're not. What I want representing the red, white, and blue. They're bubble wrapped. There's too many of them. We need, we need authentic, suffering children that can overcome this world with not having a jacket and not eating all the time and not training in world-class facilities. Uh, we need the technical players that just aren't bubble wrapped because then they won't quit because they, they experience suffrage. It is true. It might be sound like I'm being very sarcastic, which I am to a degree, and I'm not. Um, actually, I'm not at all. I speak my truth. We live in a world of bubble wrappers, and I don't want to be around that. And I will call you out, all you mothers and fathers that are bubble wrapping your children. Show love, I agree. Yeah, say I love you and all that stuff. But then... Smack them on the rear, rear behind and get them out the door and go embrace the suffrage. I love you, but good luck.
you'll be fine. Embrace the suffrage, mother, father. We need our kids to suffer. They have to experience life early. Those are my thoughts. I don't know. I may be wrong. I doubt it. Um, I know I'm going to try to embrace the suffrage. And it never ends. 44 years of age, I think. Yep. Um, and I'm still trying to find a way to embrace the suffrage. Now, I haven't been sick in a very long time. And I'm going to keep this up because I take a cold plunge. I embrace the suffrage. I have no air conditioning or heater in my car. I'm not going to get it fixed. Like I've said time and time again, I'm not going to do it because I'm going to embrace the suffer and that's okay. And this is coach Cameron's message on this. What is today? Tuesday, Tuesday morning. Everyone have a wonderful, wonderful suffrage of a day and goodbye.